Hello everybody, this is Carol from Friendly Quail. Welcome back to my channel. I have another MeWe Take 5 channel challenge for you today. Um, this is what we have for this challenge number 6. Um, we have to do a pocket journal page. Use either paint or gesso. Use a stencil. Have a tab and a sentiment. So I've got some things ready. I've done a little bit ahead just so this won't take as long. And I'll, I'll get started right now. Thanks for being with me to craft with me. Since I have a journal for a circus journal that I want to do coming up, I decided to do a page for that. And I found this, um, this music page. Uh, Parade of the Elephants and it has some elephants and things and I thought that would make a great page for my for my journal uh, circus journal. So I cut it the size of a journal page and that will be a journal page. But now on this side it's got music but it's called Walls of the Bluebird so that's where I'm going to put my pocket to cover it up. And I've already g lightly gessoed with white gesso this part of the page you can tell the difference it's a lot the the notes are a lot lighter and it doesn't show up as well quite as well on camera as it does in person but i have just sold this section right here with white gesso and i'm going to use a stencil on that and i'm going to do that before i put the pocket on so i decided i would put some stars and I'm going to use um, this Memento Ladybug. And um, I might be able to just use it like this. Nope, it doesn't want to do that. Okay, let's see. So then, I think I had, I got one ready. I hate when I do that. I can't find it. Oh, it fell on the floor. That's why. <laughs> okay. I'm going to have to use something like this. Okay. So we shall put some red stars on the background. And I'll keep going and do a few more. Okay. So I've used a stencil and I've used gesso. Okay. And now what I'm going to do for my pocket is I cut this, I printed this on cardstock. It was from a digital kit. And I'm going to be putting this on as my pocket like this. But before I put it on, I'm going to put on the tab. Because that way it'll be glued to the bottom of here and not necessarily go over the page. Uh, and I don't want it to cover up the name of the song. So... I made a little tab. I just used a piece of cardstock uh, scrapbook paper and I always cut just like a little rectangle and then I punch out the corners and I have um, distressed it a little bit. I've also distressed this and so I think maybe I'm going to put some black soot on it though because I ended up changing to black soot. Uh, for the color because the vintage photo didn't really show up. I thought that's okay. There's black in there. That'll work. Okay, so I'm going to use my art glitter glue. This is a knitting needle cap on it. That works so well. I saw that on Gail Augustinelli's sh um, her site in one of her videos and I thought so much easier than, than the pen, and you don't have to worry about having one that doesn't um, 
the pin that doesn't rust. So let's see, I where am I going to put this on? I think I'll put it on about right here. That way I don't cover this writing on this poster thing here. And this will then hang off the page. And so off the page, I'm going to put um, a dangle. Let's see. So I've got a little eyelet. Put it on right here. The little red one. And I have my crocodile set for this size eyelet. Uh oh. Is it in there right now? Yep, okay. And then I'm going to be putting on a little elephant charm and put it through that eyelet with a bulb pin. Yeah, that'll be cute. And then I'm going to um, glue this on. So I'm going to go around just the edge of the three sides so that I can glue it on the edge of the paper and have a pocket. Okay, put a little extra right there. All right, so I need to line this up with the edge of the page. There we go. Okay. So now I have my pocket, and the only thing I have left, I've got journal page, gesso, stencil, tab, and I need a sentiment. So I went on Word, and I decided to print something to put on here. Now this one is yellow with red and I wasn't sure if that would show up enough it seemed kind of washed out so I did another one with a black outline around the red I thought I'd wait to decide till I had the stenciling done and then I did this one with black with an outline of red hmm which one do I want to use The just plain yellow and red is out, so it's between this one and this one. This one definitely shows up more. I can't decide. Well, that's going to be my sentiment, and I'll tell you what. I'm going to let you help me decide which color you think I should put on, the red letters or the black letters. And you can let me know in the comments if you wouldn't mind. Um, I'm going to ask for your advice because, you know, I kind of like this one because it shows up more, but I kind of like that one because it has more red in it. And I'm just not being able to make up my mind. So I am going to um, go for now. And please let me know in the comments if you think I should use the black letter or letters or the red letters. And um, then we'll be all set for my challenge. So we'll have the journal page, gesso, stencil, tab, and this is my sentiment, which is a statement, the greatest show on earth, which is what they say about the circus. Anyway, that's it. Please let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for crafting with me today. Bye. This is Carol from Friendly Quail.